Hello Gemini and welcome to your February general reading. So let's see what your overall message for this month is. Distant thunder, clear the air. So to me this really speaks about like there's something like that you're not that you're not really um, dealing with. That's the word, dealing with. There's something in the distance that you're not dealing with. And, you know, I really do think it's a past energy because look at her and the energy, uh, the gender doesn't matter. It's the energy. But, you know, she's like in her castle, but she's looking kind of to the past. There's something that you need to clear up. And that could be, you know, with a relationship, a belief system. It could be, you know, in your career, just trying to clear something up. So I really feel like you're on the verge of a new path. But before you can go on your new journey, you really need to take a moment to clean up whatever is in the past. It's like, you know, kind of like cleaning your house before you go on vacation. Although I'm not sure you're going on vacation, but... It's that type of energy. Oh my. Okay, so in your present position, you have door to romance. See, I think there's something new coming in. I really think this is a new romance coming in. Um, but you need to clear out a relationship from the past. Um, that can mean having a conversation with that person or just healing whatever last residual wounds you have from a past relationship because i really do think this is a new energy now it could be somebody from the past coming back and trying to reopen the door to romance but we'll get some more information about that okay your obstacle this month oh my is your third eye your sixth chakra so you know it's you're not you're you may be blocking your intuition when it comes to this new romance you may be blocking you know um the lessons that you need to learn from something in the past or you're not listening to your intuition that's definitely the message there okay so let's see what the few oh my goodness blossoming abundance gemini you're on a roll Whatever this distant thunder is, you want to take care of that because look at it. You have something beautiful coming in and it could be a new romance that's also going to be a, bring in abundance in other areas of your life. Lovely. Okay, so in the present, oh, beautiful uncaging. Yes, I do. And look at in this picture, these two are just so similar. Because in this picture, you know, the, the heart is in a cage. And then this is beautiful uncaging. Like, I really think you have some beautiful new love coming in. That's just going to open you up to so much. May even help you open up your intuition better. Um, but definitely bringing in lots of abundance. Lovely. Ears wide open. Yeah, this is your spirit world. Um, you know, your guides, your angels. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to give you information. And once again, you know, it could be somebody coming back from the past with this distant thunder. Maybe you hear them coming closer. <laughs> um, but you're definitely being guided by spirit with this and sacred reverence. So this is definitely going to be a spiritually guided romance and you know something that's definitely on your path, a soulmate type of connection. Look at how we have a heart with a you know the key um, hole there, a heart with a key and a heart with a key. Somebody is coming in to really oh open up your heart. So lovely. Okay, so we have transformation. Yes, I think that this is talking about how you have transformed yourself. You know, once again, gender doesn't matter, but she's in the castle. She's by herself. Um, and she's dressed like a princess. But, you know, the whole thing is that 
you know, she's kind of by herself. She's put herself in solitude. She's worked on herself. You may be coming out of a hermit mode. And you've done the work. There's definitely you have done the work. If someone from the past is coming back, they may not have done the work. Or maybe they did. Maybe they have had a transformation. But I really think that whatever new person is coming into your life is really going to open you up to a whole new world of love and abundance. Balance. And this is the number 11 too. Um, you know, this really does speak about having balance in your life. And maybe one reason you had to go into the castle and be by yourself is that you needed to bring balance. And, you know, one of the other things is this is like the um, manifesting card for me too. Because it's very similar to the magician. You see how this person has all of the tools. You have all of your tools and you may have been using these tools to help manifest love in your life. You may have been alone for quite a while, maybe working on your career or something like that. And you want more balance in your life. You're missing love. You want romance. And February is the month of Valentine's Day. So maybe you have, you know, a new romantic connection coming in for Valentine's Day base chakra so yes i love this because you know your base chakra is your foundation i think whatever love is coming into your life whether it's somebody from the past but i really think it's somebody new um this person is going to provide you with a more balanced relationship in love you may have had difficulties with balanced relationships in the past but this one is going to be based on a firm foundation it's it's going to be balanced you are going to be transformed in this you're going to um bring to this relationship a different version of yourself that's the way i'm looking at it because you know you have a transformation card i think you've done all of the work that you've needed to do and i really think this is very spiritually guided so you're probably you know um have some spiritual practices you may have actually you know been working with your guides to help manifest this love in your life okay loyal heart so this person is going to be loyal and, you know, this is a soulmate card, too. This is a person that's really meant to be with you. Like, this is a really strong connection. Deep knowing. Yeah, and that's with your intuition and everything. Like, really listen to your intuition. When this person comes into your life, like, really be intuitive. Um, you know, sometimes if we've been hurt from the past, you know, we... We kind of put the swords up and we're, we have all the barriers and, you know, some of that is really good. You want to make sure you have good boundaries in your relationships. But this one is also speaking to me about the fact that you need to listen to your heart and to your intuition when you're having, you know, bringing this in, like making sure you're not following old patterns because you have gone through this transformation you are different to the sea so um this card kind of speaks to listening you know to spirit but also kind of you know going on that solo path and being flexible and um and I think that that is one of the things that you're going to find in this relationship is that it's going to be more flexible, more give and take, more balanced. You see how, you know, she's in the bathtub, but there's like calm water, even though she's in like the ocean, the sea, right? The water is very deep and it could have huge waves and all of that. But the water is, you know, almost like, um, you know, a very still lake. It's very calm. It's not going to be, I just got the message, it's not going to be dramatic. 
like you may have experienced in past relationships. Very interesting. Okay, so let's see. This is the creative oracle. I love these cards. Push. Don't feel inadequate. Forget how forget how to quit. Push on no matter how things look. And I do feel like, you know, especially if you're having trouble opening yourself up back to love, um, especially if you've left a relationship and it could have been, you know, once again, a while in the past, but you've left a relationship in the past and you're, you're having trouble allowing new love to come into your life, right? Um, I think this is a message that you are, you're ready for this. You know that. You're ready for this. You may have your ego kind of like planting some seeds of doubt. <laughs> like, are you ready? Will you know if this is the right one? Will you be asking the right questions? Will you rush into it too fast? And that's why I think that they're saying, like, don't stop wanting love in your life because of things that happened in the past. Push yourself, if you need to, to open this door to romance. And then follow your intuition as you go through this new relationship. Ask your guides for help. Okay, resurrection. Reconsider a project or recall a person from the past to resurrect an idea. Okay, so that's, you know, and I really, I always hate to say people are returning from the past, but <laughs> this is kind of speaking to the fact that for some of you, it could be that someone from the past is coming back to see if there's anything left in this relationship. And when they do, they're, they're going to come in much more romantic than they may have been in the past. They're going to bring their best game. And you're going to have to navigate through this using your intuition. Um, the other thing is, if it's not somebody that's, you know, trying to resurrect something from the past. It is giving you the message that as you go into a new relationship, you want to remember the lessons that you have learned from a past relationship. Very, very, um, I love this advice because I think that, Gemini, you really already know this. I think it's actually kind of like your intuition just kind of restating what you already know because you have the deep knowing there, right? Like you already know this. I'm not telling you anything new. It's just kind of regurgitating, you know, things that you already know distractions. When you're trying to solve a problem, you will often be tested by distractions. Okay, so I just got the message with that one that, you know, sometimes when we're ready to start on a new path in love, you know, the person from the past shows up. Um, just, you know, uh, not necessarily to try to, you know, they may say they want to resurrect it, but it's almost like the universe is testing you. Like, are you really ready for this new love? And, you know, or you could be trying to create distractions so that this new love coming in doesn't necessarily take off in the way it's supposed to. So it's once again, just letting you know not to allow distractions. You know, like stay focused on this relationship when it comes in. This new, you know, I think it's really a newer relationship. There could be that you are still tied to past love energies. Um, and that's going to be playing a role in this. King of Air. All right, so the King of Air is somebody that, you know, I think, you know, this could be your person from the past um, playing mind games with you. <laughs> And it doesn't matter. Once again, gender doesn't matter. But I think that you're, you know, the king of air is someone that really feels like they know what's right. You know, and they're very strong in their beliefs and very convincing. 
And they may have convinced you that, you know, maybe you don't deserve love or you're not worthy of love or something like that. And part of this distant thunder is all you can hear is this person in your ear, even if they're not in your life anymore. Um, but what they, you know, what they said is not necessarily the truth, right? And you know that. Your intuition knows that. So when somebody new comes in and starts offering you love, what you could be hearing is, you know, some of the unkind things that someone in the past said about you. And your intuition is letting you know that you've learned from those lessons. You've learned that you are lovable and worthy of love and not to listen to that. Not to be fearful of going into a new relationship because you're still listening to what somebody in the past said. Okay, fool, you are just, that is, you know, because this is your obstacle. Um, you are just afraid of starting new. And, you know, it could be you're afraid of, if it's some, something from the past actually coming back. You're, you know, very leery of starting new, something new with that person. But I really think if you're starting a new relationship, you're just kind of afraid, you know, you're holding back just a little bit because of something that happened in the past. And it's time to release that and go on because you have such lovely energy here in the future. Nine of Cups, oh my goodness, what else do you want, Gemini? This, you know, this love coming in is definitely your wish come true. And we were talking about how you've been kind of working with your guides to manifest this. Your wish is going to come true, whatever that is, whether, you know, it's somebody new that you want in your life, or if you really want to resurrect something, you know, <laughs> a relationship from the past, whatever it is that you want, my goodness, you are about to get it. Nice. Nice. Nine of Cups, yes, and I think in the past, like, you know, I kind of, you know, this can be somebody in your ear talking in the past, but I also think that this is you getting more clarity on what your Nine of Cups is. You know what you really want, and you may have realized that this person from the past is your Nine of Cups. Or you could realize that leaving that person behind allows you to go get your Nine of Cups. Like that person wasn't your Nine of Cups. And it's time to go get your Nine of Cups. So let's see what we have here. Four of Pentacles. Yes. Holding on. This is fears. Having fears. Holding on to fears about starting something new. And, you know, I'll, I'll say it again for those of you that want to resurrect a past relationship, you're afraid of resurrecting it or getting back into it, or you're afraid of starting something new with someone new. So it's just your fear that's holding you back. You have all the tools. Remember, we talked about that. Where is this? Yes. You have all the tools. You're balanced. You're ready for love. You are ready for love. Do not um, be, be fearful. And you have your guides helping you through your intuition to, you know, manifest this love, but also to allow you to be really giving in this love too. Because Nine of Cups, you know, a really balanced relationship is give and take. And you're ready for that. You are so ready for that. Oh, Gemini. High Priestess. Oh my, yes. So this is, you know, definitely spiritually guided. This is using your intuition to bring about your Nine of Cups. And you are about to do it. You're so ready. Like this distant thunder is maybe the past, you know, talking to you. You learned your lessons. You're looking at that. But I also think, you know, your your distant thunder could be actually also, you know, new love coming towards you. Ready. And you're ready. Okay, so let's pull a love oracle card and see what we have here. And then we'll do an angel message. So lovely. A message for you. I'm thinking of 
I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And this is from, this message is clearly from your person. Um, and even if you haven't met, you know, if you're thinking it's a new love coming into your life, if you're resonating with that, you know, I really do feel like with this manifesting card, you are already, like, your souls are already moving closer and closer together. And I think that that's why this relationship, when it comes in, is going to be so beautiful. It's going to come in with lots of love and light and be so balanced and caring. It's a lovely energy. And if this is your person from the past, if you're really trying to resurrect something from the past, there is, you know, a message with that, that they do love you. I think that's up to you, though, Gemini. You know that. I think for most of you, this is a, a new love coming in. All right, so here's your angel message. Conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn by what, between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should. And I think this is the perfect message for this because, you know, I kept saying I... You know, there's kind of like signs that it could be somebody from the past or it could be signs that, you know, there's somebody new. But all in all, you keep coming back that your obstacle was about your intuition, following your heart. And that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be following your heart and going in the direction that you think you really need to go in, not what... You know, your family may think you need to go in or maybe someone, in, somebody from the past thinks you need to go in. Like, it's time for you to think about Gemini and what it is that you want and where you want to go because you are, you're heading for your nine of cups. Lovely energy. Oh, Gemini, I really love this reading for you. And if you've enjoyed this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and maybe subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.